discussing rounding off numbers. This is grade four math. So what is rounding off? Now, rounding off uh, basically is you, you, you take a number and you make it simpler uh, by keeping its value close to what it is, by changing the value slightly, so it's still close to what the original value was, but it makes the number simpler. Now, the result, like I said, the, the, the value is going to change slightly, so the result is, is less accurate, but it's easier to use. Okay. Now, uh, the number of ways to uh, for rounding off numbers, uh, an example of a common method of rounding would be, uh, say for example, you have the number 73. Now, 73 rounded off to the nearest 10 is 70, because 73 is closer to 70. Uh, then it is 280, okay? But if it, if the number that we were working was uh, working with was 76, then it gets rounded to uh, 80 because 76 is closer to 80 than it is to 70, all right? So let's uh, go further and see how to actually uh, do the rounding of numbers, okay? Now, we have to decide, the first thing that we have to do, we have to decide what is the last digit that we want to keep? Okay, that is the first uh, step that we do. Now, we leave this digit as it is if the next digit to the right is less than five. Okay, now uh, this is called rounding down. But if you know, this, you know, once we have decided which digit we are keeping, and we would increase that digit by one. If the next digit to the right is five or more, okay, and this is called rounding down. Now, like I had said earlier, there are other ways of uh, rounding numbers, but this method is the most common method. That you look at the the digit you want to keep, and anything you know, the digit to the, the next digit over to the right, if it's uh, five or more. You increase the digit you, you, you want to keep by one or if, if the next digit over is less than five you leave it the way it is so this is the most common way of rounding numbers okay now let's uh, look at an example uh, to try and understand uh, exactly what we you know we just said now, supposing you have to round 74 to the nearest 10 okay now the digit we want to keep is seven, okay, because that's in the tenth position. Okay, now the first thing we need to figure out is, or first thing that we need to understand is what we meant by the tenth position. Right now, uh, let's for example, you know, let's ex uh, for example use forty three thousand eight hundred and sixty two. Okay, now we'll see what the unit place is, the tenth place, the hundredth place. So. Uh, you know, the, the numbers, uh, you know, the, the leftmost, uh, I'm sorry, the rightmost digit is the units. The next one over to the left is a tenth, then the hundred, thousand, and ten thousand, and so on and so forth. So when we have a number like 43, 8, 62, uh, the two is in the unit place, six in the tenth place, eight in the hundred, three in the thousand, and four in the ten thousand. Right? So coming back to our example, uh, we are looking at 74. So now 74, if we are go if you're going to try and figure out wh you know, which number is the 10th place, which number is the unit place. So seven is in the 10th place, uh, tenth place, and uh, four is in the units place, right? So uh, because now we figured out that seven is in the 10th place, tenth place, uh, we'll keep seven the way it is, okay? Now we discussed that we look at the next digit over to the right. Now, since in this case, in the case of 74, the next digit over to the right is a four. Now four is being less than five, that means uh, we will not change the number seven. We leave the number seven the way it is, okay? So the answer to this uh, question is when we are rounding 74 to the nearest tens, uh, it would be 70 because the 74 would get rounded down to 70, okay? Now, 
Uh, let's look at another example. This time we have 86 and we have to do it uh, the same thing. We have to round it to the nearest tenths. Okay. Now, because 8 in the, is in the tenth, the tenths position, we leave 8 as it is. And then we look over to the next digit to the right. Now, the, the next digit over to the right is the 6. Now, 6 is, you know, lies in 5 and above. Okay. 5 or more. So then what we will do is we'll increase the 8 by 1. Okay, we'll increment the 8 by 1 and make it 9. So in when you're rounding 86, it now becomes 90. So we say 86 was rounded up to 90. Okay, now we could also currently what we just discussed, the two examples we discussed was with whole numbers. So let's see how we would be doing uh, decimals. Uh, decimals uh, again if you're when you're rounding to the tenth means leave one number after the decimal place okay and then you look at the next digit over to the right and see whether it's there's five or more or less than five and then you you know you do, do, you do it exactly the same as you did with the whole numbers uh, rounding off to the hundred means two numbers to the right of the decimal place uh, and the thousands means three numbers after the decimal place. Okay, now let's uh, see an example. Uh, we look at the number we'll be looking at is 3.14259, the value of pi. Okay, now when uh, 3.14259 is rounded to the tenth, is 3.1. As the next digit uh, over, the, the number four is less than five, so. Uh, it becomes 3.1. Now, if if we were to take the same number and do a rounding to the nearest uh, hundredths, the answer would be 3.14. Now, it's, it's good because on the hundredths, you, you keep the, the two digits after the decimal place and you look at the third, the next one over to the right. The next one over to the right is a 2, which is again less than 5, so it stays at 3.14. Now, if you were to do the, the same thing on the thousandth uh, place, so what will happen is the number will change to 3.14v. This time what has happened is the next digit number will, and the thousands will leave the first three uh, numbers after the decimal place and we look at the fourth number to the right of the decimal, you know, the fourth number to the right. And uh, that is, in this case, a five. Now five lies in the five and more bracket. So what we'll have to do is we have to increment the previous number. So it's instead of 3.142, it becomes 3.143. So that's uh, the two examples that we, you know, we have, it's like four examples. Uh, uh, we looked at, uh, you know, how, the, you know, two examples of uh, whole numbers, 74 and 86. 74 got rounded down to 70. 86, because 6 is greater than 5, gets rounded up to 90. Here, we took the value of pi, and we did it for you know, three examples. Uh, so the 10th place, 100th place, and the 1,000th place. And we saw how you, you keep looking at your, you know, whatever digit you're looking at, you look at the next digit over to the right, and see if it's uh, less than 5, you keep, let, it be, let this number be what it is. If it's more, the next digit over is... Uh, five or more, you increment this number by by a one, right? So that was a very quick video on uh, rounding of numbers. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And also, I would request for you to give your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you.